Modern road vehicles are equipped with a variety of electronic systems called ECUs. Their numbers can be in the hundreds to assure and control a lot of vehicle functionalities. As the number of electronic in modern cars increase, mainly ECUs, software and hardware design, electronic sensors, signals, communication buses and coding. The complexity of embedded systems also increased, which can lead to potential risks of malfunctions with fatal consequences, like human being injuries or death. To respond to the accelerated market movements described previously, automotive industry is facing a big pressure to pursue mutual competing goals. One of these main goals is safety compliance. Automotive safety means the absence of unreasonable risks, like an ECU crashes on a runtime mode, or the acceptance of a level of risks, for example human being errors, like not wearing seat belts. Automotive industry relies on functional safety, since the car network is not safe by construction. Each ECU communicates with others via communication buses, a filler on the bus makes connected ECUs to this bus in an unsafe state. So the need of functions developed to react in this situation is mandatory to mitigate the risks. To guarantee functional safety compliance for automotive industry, it is required to follow an automotive safety development life cycle. We introduce here ISO 26262 as the key to detect any deviation or violation of vehicle safety goals. ISO 26262 is a specialized international standard for automotive safety that was published in 2011 after being derived from a general safety standard for e-systems called IEC 61508. It contains two versions, the first one in 2011 with 10 parts, the other one was introduced in 2018 with 12 parts to include semiconductors and motorcycles. ISO 26262 covers the functional safety aspects of the entire development cycle, starting from the concept phase until start of production. And it provides also an automotive-specific risk-based approach to select the risk level, or what we call ASELs. For each easel, there is a set of requirements that each safety-relevant system should fulfill. 